Assalamu alaikum. Chapter 2 Different Perspectives on Patience. Patience may be of two types, either physical or psychological, and both types may either be by choice or without choice, as follows. Firstly, physical patience by choice such as doing hard labour willingly. Secondly, physical patients without choice, such as patiently bearing illness, beatings and extremes of heat and cold. Thirdly, psychological patients by choice, such as refraining from things which both the Sharia and common sense say are wrong. Fourthly, psychological patience without choice, such as patiently bearing an enforced separation from one whom you love. Different degrees of patience. As mentioned before, patience is of two types, by choice or without choice. Patience by choice is of a higher status than patients without choice, as the latter is common to all people, but the former is not attainable by all. Therefore, the patience of Yusuf in disobeying the wife of Al-Aziz and his patience in bearing the resulting punishment is of higher status than his patience in response to his brother's actions when they threw him in the well separated him from his father and sold him as a slave. This superior voluntary patience is the patience of the prophets of Ibrahim, Musa, Noor, Isa and the seal of the prophets Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Their patience was in calling the people to Allah and in striving against the enemies of Allah. The patience of men and the patience of animals. These four types of patience just mentioned apply only to human beings. Animals share only the two types of patience in which there is no choice and man is distinguished by having the patience in which there is choice. However, many people have only the types of patience that animals have, i.e. patience without choice. The patience of jinn. Jinn share the quality of patience with humans, as they are responsible for their actions like humans are. They need patience to fulfill their responsibilities towards Allah the same way that we do. One might ask, are they responsible in the same way that we are or in a different way? The answer is that with regard to matters of emotion and feeling, <clears throat> they are responsible just as we are and share the obligation to love for the sake of Allah and hate for Allah, to believe and have faith, to take believers for friends and unbelievers for enemies. But as far as physical matters such as gusul and wudu, washing after relieving oneself and circumcision are concerned, they are not the same as us. Their duties in that regard are in accordance with the way they are created. The Patience of the Angels Another question that may arise is, do angels have patience? The answer is that angels are not tested with whims and desires that contradict their reason and knowledge. For them, worshipping and obeying Allah are like breathing is for us. Therefore, the angels do not need patience because patience in need is needed when one has conflicting motives, religion and reason 
opposite to whims and desires. However, the angels may have some kind of patience which befits them and makes them persevere in doing what they were created for. The Patience of Man If a man's patience is stronger than his whims and desires, then he is like an angel. But if his whims and desires are stronger than his patience, then he is like a devil. If his desire for food, drink and sex is stronger than his patience, then he is no better than an animal. Katada said, Allah created angels with reason and no desires, animals with desires and no reason, and man with both reason and desires. So, if a man's reason is stronger than his desire, he is like an angel, and if his desires are stronger than his reason, then he is like an animal. A little baby has only the desire for food when he needs it, and his patience is like the patience of animals, until he reaches an age when he can tell what is what, he has no choice. When he grows a little older and develops a desire to play, then his patience by choice will develop. He will start to know what patience means when his sexual desire develops. At the same time, his power of reasoning is also developing, but between the age when he can tell right from wrong and the age of puberty, all he can see is his own interests in this world and what m might make life good or bad. This limited view will remain until he is guided by Allah, then he will have the full picture and began to begin to think of his interests both in this life and the hereafter. He will become aware of where different actions may lead and will prepare himself for a long struggle with his desires and natural inclinations. Different Degrees of Patience The kind of patience which relates to resisting whims and desires can be graded according to how strong and effective they are. There are three degrees of patience in this respect. Firstly, the motive of religion is strongest in controlling and defeating the whims and desires. This level of control can only be achieved through consistent patience and those who reach this level are victorious in this life and in the hereafter. They are the ones who in the Quran it says, who say, Our Lord is Allah, chapter 41, verse 30. And these are the ones to whom, at the moment of death, the angels say, Fear not, nor grieve, but receive the glad tidings of the garden of bliss, that which you were promised. We are your protectors in this life and the hereafter. Chapter 41, verses 30 to 31. They are the ones who enjoy the companionship of Allah and who strive in the way of Allah. They are the ones whom Allah has guided to the exclusion of others. The second degree of patience is when whims and desires prevail. The religious motive is diminished. The doomed person will surrender totally to Shaitan and his forces, who will lead him wherever they want. His relationship with them will be either of two possibilities. Either he will become their follower and a soldier in their army, which is the case of the weak person, or Shaitan will become a weapon for him and one of his soldiers, which is the case of the strong person 
who rebels against Allah. Those people are the ones whose misfortune has overtaken them as they preferred this world to the hereafter. The main reason for their sorry fate is that they ran out of patience. The major characteristic of these people is that they lie and cheat, indulge in wishful thinking and self-admiration, delay doing good deeds, and prefer instant gains in this world to lasting gains in the hereafter. These are the people to whom the Prophet ﷺ referred when he said, The helpless man is the one who follows his whims and desires and indulges in wishful thinking. These unfortunate people are of several types. Some of them declare war against Allah and his messenger, trying to destroy what the Prophet ﷺ brought pushing people away from Allah and spreading corruption on earth. Some are interested solely in their worldly interests. Some are two-faced hypocrites who try to ingratiate themselves with everybody and gain something from every situation. Some are promiscuous and devote their entire life to the pursuit of physical pleasure some, if they are warned, say that they would dearly love to repent, find it too difficult and plead they have no chance. Some say that Allah does not need their prayers and fasting, that they will not attain salvation by virtue of their deed and that they will rely on the fact that Allah is merciful. Some of them claim that refraining from committing wrong actions is like undermining the forgiveness of Allah. Some will say, what good could my worship do after all the wrong actions I have committed? What can help a drowning man if his fingers are above water and the rest of his body is submerged? Some say that they will repent when death approaches. So many excuses, all because their whims and desires control their reason, and they use their reason in turn to find ways of fulfilling those desires. Their reason is held prisoner by the shaitan and put to work to serve his evil purposes, just as Muslim prisoners of war may be, abused and forced to look after pigs make wine or carry the cross. The man who suppresses his reason and puts it under the control of the enemy, shaitan, is like the one who seizes a Muslim and hands him over to the enemy to imprison him. The third degree of patience is when there is a war that is raging between the motives of reason and religion and the motives of whims and desires. Sometimes one prevails, sometimes the other gains the upper hand. The pattern of victories for either side varies. This is a situation in the case of most believers who mix good deeds and bad deeds. People's ultimate fate in the hereafter will correspond to these three situations outlined previously. Some people will enter paradise and never enter hell. Some will enter hell and never enter paradise. And some will enter hell for some time before they are admitted to paradise.